Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about the things that I purchased the month of October and evaluate them. Okay, so I bought stuff from Amazon, Dollar Tree, Ross, Grocery Store, and Walmart. Oh, and Spirit Halloween. Um, so yeah, I'm not going to talk about food or presents. Okay, so first I bought a bunch of skincare all in the same, um the same cart um i probably should not have done that i bought three things meant for blackheads you can't even see okay. mary and may pore strips these are supposed to soften the blackheads and then you're supposed to be able to take them off i guess i shouldn't be saying blackheads i should be saying sebaceous filaments or whatever um and then these are the biore strips um so these i have purchased in the past so i know that they do help so this was a t well i'm gonna say this is a 8 out of 10 because i like the skin miso ones more i haven't been able to find them on amazon i will maybe try yes style maybe they have it um these i hadn't tried since i was in middle school or high school i don't know um and i don't like everybody always like had a lot of hate for these that they didn't really do anything but i feel like at least they kind of get it started and now I'm using the little metal tool and I think that's what's been helping more to be honest and I feel like now this is going to be all over the place but <sighs> okay so I don't know I've always struggled with acne since I was like a teenager and for some reason like benzoyl peroxide just works on my skin better versus I feel like I'm going to say it wrong. Is it salicylic acid or is it salicylic acid? I guess I can go check. But anyway, like that would always make me break out. And it just didn't work for me. <coughs> so, um, but I know that that's like the number one ingredient that helps with blackheads and sebaceous filaments and all that stuff. So I was still kind of doing the Paula's Choice blah blah toner like once in a while not very consistently just on my nose um but anyway because of that i wanted to try retinol because i heard that it's another thing that could help because i feel like the polish choice things didn't really do much so i mean honestly i have only used this like two times so five out of ten because i didn't fucking use it um and i'm like I'm not evaluating the actual product i'm evaluating like my what i'm trying to say is that i am evaluating that i should have probably waited a little bit or at least made it more of a routine so anyway this is a five out of ten purchase because i haven't used it um not the actual product itself but just like that i haven't used it so i need to be more consistent with my um with my skincare um and i guess this was also eight out of ten purchase for me and the last skincare item that i got was this okay it's salicylic anyway this is what i was talking about like it's just a toner anyway i don't really think that it doesn't anything for me again i'm not super consistent and i feel like it dries me out the last product i bought was this moisturizer and I was super excited about it because it had niacinamide and like, I don't know, all these things. And it smells really bad, okay? Um, and anyway, the reason why I bought it is because I really like this cleanser. This is the 4% benzoyl peroxide. Um, they have a 10%, but that one's, that one's pretty harsh. I did used to use it like here and there. I don't know if this is new or not, or if it was there, but I just didn't know about it. But anyway, so because I really like this, um, I bought this moisturizer, but it smells really bad. And I don't know if I just got an ex <coughs> Oh my gosh. I don't know if I got an expired one or if that's just how it smells because this doesn't smell. And so I've been kind of like, I feel like it has a very slight smell. So anyway, like, I thought that maybe I got an expired one. So, I've only been using this on my body, like, once in a while. 
Um, so yeah, and the reason why I was looking for a moisturizer is because this is the moisturizer that has. My phone's tripping over my words. Anyway, this moisturizer <laughs> is my favorite so far, but it's pretty fucking expensive. It's like $30. This is like 10. So two of these is like one of these. Um, so it's still, it's still, it's still more expensive, but, um, this is the Rovic Tin. This is really long. I'm not going to read it. Anyway, um, point is, is that this is a moisturizer that I feel like stings the least. Um, that's it. <laughs> so if y'all have any other recommendations, let me know. Um, I mean, this has lasted me a while, so I guess I'm okay with just... I'm just going to rebuy that one. That's it. Okay. Anyway, so overall, 1 out of 10. Um, if somebody else has this, can you let me know if it smells? If it smells, then it's fine. But I just want to know, is it expired or what's going on? Because, like, it was sealed and everything. Anyway, that was, like, a really long rant. I'm sorry. The other thing I got were these cute little clips. It came in... Well, I bought two packs. And that was a mistake. Um, I should have just gotten one. Um, uh, but I don't know. Anyway, so these are fucking adorable. Look how cute they are. But I wanted to wear them like this, and this looks hella dumb. I do gotta say that this, like this in the back, like it looks really fucking cute. But anyway, they're still super cute, right? And then the other thing is that I cut my hair even shorter. So now I do need clips to like hold up my hair. So anyway, a compromise because I was going to return one of the packs, but I still kind of liked having the matching pairs because basically like they didn't have pairs, like they had rectangles and triangles. So anyway, um... I decided to split it in three, so I'm going to give these away. Um, I'm still kind of debating over which ones I should keep. I for sure, I'm going to keep all of these, the rectangles and the triangles, because they're hella cute. And then, I really love these blue ones. These are probably... Yeah, I don't know. I guess I like both of them. And then, for this, I don't know. <coughs> Because I feel like I have way more black things and I have nothing that's pink. But these are so freaking cute. So anyway, I was going to keep the triangle ones because I really liked having them like this. But then when I put my hair up in a ponytail, I kind of like having them clipped like that. I haven't decided if I'm going to keep the four black ones or um, the pink and the black triangles. Anyway. So overall, 7 out of 10. Because they are hella cute, but... Like, this thing just does not look cute how I wanted to wear them. Oh, yeah. So, the other thing I got were phone chargers. That is 1 out of 10. Because this was on me. Um, I should have checked how long they were. They were pretty short. <coughs> I ended up tossing my other one that didn't work anymore. Um, and then I'm still using my old one that works most of the time. So, honestly, I probably could have, like, waited on that and bought the long ones. But... You know, that's not neat. And then I had already opened them, so, you know, couldn't return them. Um, I could always gift them for Christmas or something. Like, all of my... Well, not all of my family, but, like, my parents and my siblings all have iPhones, which, honestly, I would not get an iPhone. I mean, after this one breaks, I'm not going to get an iPhone anymore. <coughs> like, just alone, like, the transferring of the pictures, that's too fucking annoying. I'm sorry that I'm cussing a lot. So this, 0 out of freaking 10. Um, so these are plaque off soft shoes for cats. And so anyway, um, they're supposed to take the plaque off of the thing. So like, okay, I'm not making any sense. Anyway, point is that they didn't like them. Like, they were too hard for them. So then I cut them up and they would just like smell them and smell them. But then they wouldn't eat them. And I actually left some of it some of them in the dry food and they just like didn't eat it so could it have worked with the plaque off maybe <coughs> anyway the reason why i bought these is because 
my one of my cats breath is like pretty bad like the other one is fine but like they eat the same thing so i don't know um anyway what was the question i'm going to see if my parents stray cat likes these um <coughs> i still have the cough i'm sorry um anyway i'm going to see if my parents my parents cat <laughs> wants these um so there's this like stray cat that goes around um well he hangs out around in the backyard and then like they feed him so i'm gonna see if he likes it and if not um i might give this to the chickens chop it up um i guess i'll have to google if they can eat kelp but it probably should be fine so yeah although the chickens can be kind of picky too so i don't know Okay, the other thing that I got was this um, diffuser that didn't require water. So you just plug it in and then you put the bottle and that's it. Um, so yeah, so I put that in the living room and I couldn't smell anything. So then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to return it. And then I could not return it. Um, like it would just say that in order to, basically it would just tell me troubleshoot ideas but then it wouldn't let me return it so that was really annoying and then i was like okay you know what perhaps maybe it's because it's such a large room so then i tried it in my room and wait i guess i'll show you so i plugged it right there and then basically from like here to like the middle of the bed um i definitely smelled it but then it was way too fucking strong because you know obviously it didn't have water so it was more concentrated and i sneeze a lot with um strong scents so yeah um anyway in the end i swapped with my brother my old fuser with the new one um and i, I guess i'll have to ask him if he likes it i forgot the other diffuser at his house though so well at my parents house and with that being said i bought the orange oil which I don't know. It's probably good, but I haven't had a chance to like use it with the other diffuser. Okay, so the other thing that I bought were compostable bags. Um, I had purchased this brand before without the handles, and I wanted the handles that be able to use, well, basically so that they would stay on the trash can better. And it does stay on better, but I feel like it's way thinner than the other one. And um, it kind of breaks easier, but I mean, I guess it's compostable, so it's supposed to be compostable. So, I don't know. I'm sure that helps. Um, and then I also got a little chopper because the one that I used to have was very flimsy. It was like one, it was like a dollar fifty. So anyway, this is much sturdier. Um, I haven't used it yet. Um, my husband did, but we have a shit ton of potatoes, so like I should. But I just, I just have not. Okay, I did get rid of two attachments already. Um, but yeah. So the bags, I'll say seven out of ten because I think I'm gonna try another brand to see if it's better. And the chopper is probably like an 8 out of 10. Because I haven't used it, but it seems like it's pretty good. Okay, so I got this cat bed. It was originally 30, then it was 25. And then after I bought it, it went on sale for 20. Um, so I guess wait around for it when it's 20. But yeah, it's really cute. Um, and they do like it. Oh yeah, the other thing I got, which I totally forgot was so anyway the, the bed 10 out of 10 i don't think it's their favorite spot so i guess maybe i'll say 9 out of 10. so i also got these these are honestly like a seven ish seven and a half out of ten because see and now he likes it anyway they're kind of it's kind of like a an okay toy it's not that big well mojito 
does play with it. Papillon only plays with it when it has catnip rubbed on top of it. Um, but they're so pretty though. But you know, um, in retrospect, I probably should have just gotten them more, um, more of the toys that they like, which are, I think really loves these. They're like, damn, I forgot what it's called. Is it Rattan? I can't say, I can't say it, but they're like bird balls and Mojito loves playing with these. And then Fatima likes these, which were honestly even less expensive than those. But anyway, the other thing that I got was moth. So I broke this box, but I still wanted to keep it because my aunt gave it to me and it was supposed to be for our wedding. So I used super glue and then I used hot glue just so that it wasn't, um, so that it'd be, it'd be safe to touch. But then I ended up putting, um, what is this called? Floral tape? Yeah. And then I put floral tape on top and then I was like DIYing it and it looked fucking ugly. And then I was like, you know what? I want to do the little moss thing. And I originally was going to do the whole thing green. But then I saw somebody did a mirror where it just had the bottom. So I was like, oh, you will just do the bottom. And then I didn't have mushrooms, but I thought these little flowers would look cute too. So anyway, I guess I made bushes and stuff. I do have a bunch of moss left over. Um, so it was like, oh, I haven't been saying prices, huh? Anyway, I have a whole other box left. I barely use that much. Um, I kind of wanted to DIY the entry mirror, but I haven't decided. But anyway, that was $8. I guess I'll go back and I'll tell you about it, how much stuff was. Am I making you dizzy? What am I looking for? Oh, sorry. I just want to show you the mirror. Okay. Anyway. All right, compostable bags. I think they're around 15, I don't remember. Damn, I actually don't really remember. I think these were around 20 and the Biore things I think were a little bit cheaper. And then the moisturizer was like 10 or 12. And then the phone chargers, I don't remember, 15 or 20. Retinol around 20. The clips were like eight bucks. So like two of them though. And then the capsules were like 12. Chopper was around 20. The oil diffuser was 30. The moss was eight. Orange oil was I think around 10. <coughs> and the cat bed, I already said that. Um, 30, then 25, and now it's 20. Actually, I don't know exactly right now, but yeah. Oh yeah, Dollar Tree, okay. So I guess I have Dollar Tree stuff. So anyway, okay, so for Dollar Tree, I don't know, I just really wanted to be a clip lady. Um, and I found these at Dollar Tree and I still kind of wanted to try on these type of um, clips. I honestly just really like these red ones. Well, I guess I like the red ones the most. Um, haven't been wearing them a ton, but I think these are definitely like a seven or an eight, mostly because I haven't been wearing them that much, but I do like them. Like this yellow one, I don't really like. Um, but anyway, like I had my eye on some from Amazon, but there were like a hundred, which I mean, it wasn't expensive, but um, I think maybe it was like eight bucks or a hundred and they were really colorful. So I was like, I feel like I'm going to feel uncomfortable wearing them because I don't know, I feel like they're too girly. Well, you know, they're too little girly for me. I don't know. I feel like I just was gonna be embarrassed about it. Okay, I'm glad that I found those because those colors just seem more mature than like the bright ones, which there's nothing wrong with, you know, dressing a little girly. Um, you know, I like to wear little girly things sometimes. And the other thing from Dollar Tree that I bought was a Winnie the Pooh little stuffy thing, which I bought it for the cats, but really I just bought it for me just really fucking cute. Mokito like plays with it sometimes, but not really. Um, again, if I had put catnip on them, they'd be like it. 
think I saw it here. Anyway, this is a little stuffy. It was, how much was it? Oh well, yeah, 125. It's like sometimes I'm like, why do I even bother buying them stuff? Oh shit, I almost squished you, man. It's like they've been playing with this hair tie for the last two days. So it's like, why do I even freaking bother, you know? But anyway. Wait, let me close this because it's gonna. What do you know what he's doing? Saying 20,000 years. Okay. Oh, wait, I did not. Okay, so Winnie the Pooh, 7 out of 10, did not need it. It was cute. Cats kind of like it ish, but also not really. Okay, so for Ross, it was two trips. The first trip, I got five pound weights and scrunchies. Um, so I did very much like the five pound weights at first. But then, um, my elbow started hurting a lot, so I kind of stopped. Okay, basically my elbows and my hands were hurting a lot. Um, I have chronic pain, but I don't want to get too much into it. Um, but anyway, um, I pretty much stopped all the hand physical therapy stuff and all of the arm weights. And my elbow started feeling better and my hands still kind of hurt on and off but i started feeling a lot better so i don't know i've been kind of scared to pick those up again so i'll say six out of ten because i did like using them um these scrunchies were nipples by i did want to get more but honestly like i like the thick ones so i should have just made more um so this is six out of ten they are really cute though um but actually, because my hair is shorter, I've been wearing my hair down and I feel like, I don't know, I've just been wearing my hair down more. So it's been kind of nice. And that's why I cut it because I felt like I always had to have my hair up when it was long. I mean, it's not, it wasn't that long. It was like here. I like been cutting it shorter. <sighs> anyway. Okay. And then the uh, second trip were these jeans, which at first I wasn't sure about because I was like, they kind of look, um, like they kind of look lightweight poorly constructed but um i don't know they're really fucking comfortable and cute and i just really wanted like another pair of just like comfortable jeans that still felt a little bit more elevated than my cargo pants um so yeah so those 10 out of 10 for sure so spirit halloween i think was after that and I got a lot of things. Okay. Let me see what I get. Okay, so I got this Hocus Pocus necklace. Um, I would like to wear it out because I only wore it like for Halloween and stuff and like around the house. I don't know. Am I brave enough to do that? It's so fucking cute. Um, I forgot to say about the prices of that stuff. Uh, the five pound weights were $4 each. I got two. Um, scrunchies were also four, and the jeans were like around 17. This, I think it was like 13 bucks. Okay, so I got these tights, and then I got these tights. Um, these barely fit, to be honest. Um, so, I actually ended up not wearing them out. Did I not? Yeah, I ended up wearing my old ones. So hopefully I can stretch them out. And then the the other ones, they do fit. So I wore them for Halloween. I will wear them out as well. Um, like I said, I really like wearing these when, anyway, I like wearing those when I have a long dress, but like I haven't shaved, but I still wanna wear the dress. So I don't know, that's a little hack. Okay, and then I got these two t-shirts I noticed that I was gonna calm down with the cat things, but technically I kind of did, you know? Anyway, and then I also got this shirt. Um, this is 10 out of 10. 
be wearing it to sleep a lot. This one I've only worn once, but still, I think that one's like 8 or 10. I got this for my husband, but now I'm gonna steal it. Um, we were Chucky and Tiffany, and it's pretty fun. We dressed up like three times, and we're gonna dress up again next Saturday, even though like Halloween already passed. Oh yeah, we also got hairspray, which we were trying to make it last for like the three times. So we didn't like spray that much and it didn't really show up that much. So yeah, um, but it was cool. Oh yeah, for the grocery store, two impulse buys. Technically my husband bought them. This ear plant school guy, which I think it's already dying. I heard that you have to like take them out and then like soak them in water. So I need to do that. Um, but anyway, I was gonna put it over here with the rest of the school guys but because i needed a third well it's not that i needed a third thing but it just felt like more appropriate here with the other plants um but then because i got these flowers i ended up just putting it on top of here when i got these so yeah and then what's the other thing oh the other thing i got was another cat thing y'all and I was like, I'm not gonna, like, I was talking about how, like, the cat things and the grocery bags. Guess what? I got another grocery bag. But, it's for my bag, guys, okay? Like, I actually haven't used it yet. <laughs> because, um, I don't know, we haven't gone anywhere. And I've been trying to be good about remembering to bring grocery bags. Because there were impulse buys, I'm gonna say... They're both like seven out of ten. Okay. And then Walmart. Um, it was also technically my husband's purchase. Um, I got these two eyeliners, which they were Halloween eyeliners. I've always thought that black liquid liner looks really terrible on me, but I just wanted to try it out again. And since they were $2, I didn't feel that bad um, doing that. And then I had seen there was a trend to do the red liner and I was excited for this, but like, I mean, it's a Halloween thing, so it looks like blood, but it worked really well for the Halloween costume. So yeah. Um, anyway, that's all bought. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, I actually ended up buying more things this month than the previous month so yeah forgot i got this basket for my nightstand ended up using it for this eight out of ten switches it's really cute but i haven't actually used it for a party yet i also got these two dream catchers from a crafter there were 10 each okay the last two clips were from today the next day um, I'm trying to multitask. I'm on a bike. Um, I guess I was reflecting on stuff because, again, I was not honest the first time around. Um, but I think... So the last video I recorded after my Amazon stuff and I did notice that after that, if I were to buy things, or I guess if I bought things, it was only like two or three things at a time. So I do think that I was a little bit more careful about it. Spirit Halloween was the outlier though, because I bought one more things that day. Um, I did share that um, I had gotten two other outfits and ended up returning them and ended up spending a little bit less because we just got the one sweater. The other thing was that even though I wasn't buying cat themed things, I was buying a lot of like cat things for the cats. So I need to watch out for that too. Um, I already told myself that I should not be buying trinkets and I did buy that um, little plant, which I feel like I justified it because it was a plant, but I need to be careful about that. Anyway, yeah, overall, I guess I'm gonna give myself a B minus, mostly because I don't wanna give myself a C, but um, uh, I do need to be a little bit more careful about stuff. Um, I don't know, I still don't fully regret my purchases, um, well, the diffuser I do, but, um, 
so I guess that's good, but anyways, yummy, goodbye.